Hello there. Hey there guys, Unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Ahsoka, her overall character, and what's to come for her in the future, all according to Dave Filoni in a recent interview with The Direct. So let's hop right on into it. The quote here coming from Dave Filoni himself. Now, an overall spectrum of things of who Dave Filoni exactly is. He's the almighty of Star Wars as of right now, and everything that he seems to touch, especially when it comes to Star Wars, is just instant gold. That's definitely something that has been proven since The Mandalorian Season 1, Season 2, now the book of Boba Fett. However, something that you should know about Dave Filoni is that his importance to Ahsoka is the fact and the matter that he's actually the creator of Ahsoka Tano and her character that we first see introduced in Star Wars The Clone Wars, later to be seen in Star Wars Rebels, and now in the Mandalorian universe, first appearing in chapter 13 of the Mandalorian, and then reappearing here in the book of Boba Fett, once again being reprised by her role of Rosiera Dawson in the live action. Since then, over now a year at this point in time, she has had an announced TV show called Ahsoka, of course, that will be presumably coming out in the year of 2023. It all really goes towards the fact of the matter of when, where, how, and type of thing, and there are filming updates, something for another time and another video to be talked about, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for all types of different Star Wars news updates. So in this interview, Dave Filoni had shared that there were some extensive discussions regarding on who would take Grogu and to go on and train to be a Jedi, of course, that there was during the filming and the overall production, writing, and whatever you want to call it, of season two of The Man. Mandalorian, and of course we all learned what happened with Grogu. He went on to go be with Luke Skywalker. Overall interview, Dave Filoni talks more or less about Ahsoka and her destiny now at this point in time, and from what it really looks like what her overall motives are going to be as we learn in Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian Season 2 is the fact that she's after Grand Admiral Thrawn, and she's on the search for Ezra Bridger here as well, and this is something that's going to be shown and talked about and seen overall and told in her own very show, Ahsoka. The quote from Dave Filoni is, Take Taking care of the child is not her destiny. That's not what I've been planning for her to do, so I can't change it up. End quotes there, of course, and overall something else to know about Dave Filoni. Not only is he the creator of Ahsoka Tano, but he's had the, her overall story planned out ever since nearly the beginning at this point. The next quote Dave Filoni goes on to say, end quotes, but it's interesting if Ahsoka is there along the way, not as somebody who takes this burden away from Mando, but as somebody to say, you might be forgetting that this kid has a choice too. It's not just a about you and your oath to your covert. And this would be kind of something that, you know, Ahsoka would be saying to the Mandalorian to kind of open his eyes a little bit there. And of course, end quotes there, this is now me talking. He also does talk about how Grogu does have a choice as well. And this is something that we have learned in the book of Boba Fett in episode seven, when Grogu and Mando, Din Djarin reunite together. And yeah, I have my mixed feelings on that, but it's all part of the plan, trust the process. There's more to be told between these two. And of course, let's face it, Grogu, Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call the guy is such a huge money maker for Disney. Why on earth would they just kind of throw him away? Overall, I'm very, very happy the way that Dave Filoni is sharing this overall story with Ahsoka Tano and how there's more to her character, but yet how she's almost acting as a, a mentor type of character as well here, not only for Luke Skywalker, also but for the Mandalorian here as well. She's such a wise character at this point in time in the Star Wars franchise and Star Wars universe, playing almost a motherly type of role, you know, towards all of our favorite characters at this point. It's something I've never would have seen, you know, or thought to have seen before, especially with Ahsoka. And it's also very reassuring, I must, must say, as a Star Wars fan to you guys, especially after what we saw with the sequel trilogy, no hate to Star Wars, Disney, or anything that happened or went on with the Lucas Films uh, sequel trilogy here with, of course, J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson and all of them. Of course, I have my own respect and love for those movies here, of course, but at the end, at the end of the day, the storytelling aspect just isn't always completely there. And uh, there's overall mixed feelings about the Star Wars sequel of course, as we do know in the Star Wars, you know, community, unless you've been living underneath a rock. And that reinsurance that Dave Filoni is kind of giving us here in this interview is the fact that this is all planned. Take, take a chill pill, take a step back. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Just sit back and type of, you know, watch and enjoy type of aspect here. So overall, what's next for Ahsoka Tano is really kind of unknown. We all, all that we really know is that she's going after Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ezra Bridger and hopefully almost acting as a Rebels, Star Wars Rebels sequel here in live action is, I think is going to be really cool to see in the Ahsoka Tano series here of course that will be coming out here around 2023 of course as I had mentioned we're going to have all types of filming updates of course for overall Star Wars news and content rumors if you guys are into that type of stuff you found the proper place so hit that subscribe button and join us if you haven't already but other than that the only other thing that we really do know about this overall series is that Hen Christensen is once again of course coming back not only for the Kenobi series but also here for the Ahsoka Tano series presumably for flashbacks and hopefully also a Force Ghost appearance I think would be something very special and something very
very, very amazing. I just honestly absolutely love how blindly we are going into some of this new Star Wars content as we did see with the book of Boba Fett. You just did not know what to expect and it's something I'm absolutely loving here. Of course, I'd love to hear of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below, guys. What do you guys think about this overall interview here that's going on with Dave Filoni and talking about Ahsoka Tano's overall destiny here as a character and what we get yet to really see here in the Mandalorian universe and for her own upcoming show here as well as a spinoff here towards the Mandalorian universe. I'd absolutely love to hear of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Well, in the video, if you enjoy it, as it really does help with the channel and check out our Instagram unofficial Star Wars for more Star Wars-related content, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. As always, may the force be with you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.